Hi friends, in this video, I will show you how to build this automation workflow. You click on run, you enter any topic you want, for example, email marketing. Click OK, and now in seconds, what will happen is that this automation, powered by AI, will do a research on the internet, read articles, summarize them, extract content from, and then will create and generate a blog, full blog post. And this is the final output. Not only that, in this video, you will get access, free access to my custom application that I developed here, which is a game changer, as you will see. Also, you'll get access to the advanced automation workflow. This one will help you create almost anything from content ideas to social media posts to blog posts to research papers, almost anything. I'm so excited about this video. If you are ready, let's get started. So step number one is to understand the main automation workflow. So what we are going to build or what we built here in this video is a workflow that will search the internet. You enter a topic, it will search the web and extract the top 10, 20, 30, 50 results, whatever you want. Then it will loop through all these results, all these links and extract the content. It will read the blog posts. Then from each blog post, it will extract the main ideas and topics that is required to write a blog, for example, or to create maybe a social media post or a research, anything you want. Then we will use all the information collected from the internet, all the ideas to create what you want. We will combine them all with a powerful prompt and with the power of AI to generate the final blog post or the final output. The idea is simple. Let's see how we can build this. Step two, we need a no-code automation platform. And what's better than Make? I started using it recently and I really fell in love with this awesome platform. It allows me to automate almost anything in my business, anything. You can get started for free and what's really awesome, I partnered with Make and now you can get free access to the pro version for one month. So you can test everything for free. In the description below, you will find the link. Just click and join Make to get free access to the platform. So free access with my free apps, with the free workflow, everything is free. Just go and test and see the power of AI automation and make to help you save countless hours for you or your clients. Remember, you can also sell this for your clients as a service. So let's get started. Again, click on the link and log into your new account. If it's your first time, it will ask you some questions. Just select what best fits you. And let's get started. Here where the magic will begin. Step three is to install my free application inside Make. Just copy the link in the description again and paste in your browser. It's an app invitation. It's called Extract Web Content. Click install. You will see how much this application is important in, a, in seconds. Select your organization and click install and perfect. It's installed now. Super simple. Step number four is to build and configure the workflow, this main workflow. Now, when I built this, it took me around four or five hours building the application and testing and creating the prompts and so on. Now to make things simple for you and save you time, I will give you the workflow so you can directly implement and configure. Again, in your account, click on create a new scenario. You will see how simple is this. And here is the scenario builder or, or the automation workflow builder. What you will do simply is click on these three dots, click on import blueprint, choose file, and simply import the JSON you downloaded from the description below that I shared with you. It's called make automation dash one. Open, click on save, and boom. You will have the full scenario imported in your account. Now you need to configure a few things to make this work. Click on the first module and you will see here, I am calling Serper API. What is Serper? 
If you go here to SERPER website, it's simply a service that allows you to search Google through an API. And you can get 2,500 free queries. So just sign up for free and go here to API keys and simply copy your key and go back and simply click on add and enter your API key here. That's it. Okay. Next, click on my application. Open it. We see the API key here. Just make sure to enter Hassan 2024. H A S A N 2024. This will give you free access to my app. Then open ChatGPT or open AI module and connect with your API key again. Click on add and enter your open AI API key. In case you don't know how, just go here to openai.com. Just log into your account and here you'll find the API keys. Just create a new one, copy it and paste here and we are done. You will see the prompts are configured. Everything is configured for you. And the last step is to configure Google Docs if you want to publish on Google Docs. Again, you can click on add connection and log in with Gmail. It's super simple. Just sign in and you'll be connected. And that's it. Now, when you click on run, it will ask you for a topic. How I added this input, simply here we have something called scenario inputs. And I added something called topic with type text. It's super simple. Now when you click on run, it will ask you the topic. Let's say automate, email, marketing, any topic you want. Click OK. And now the automation will run. You can see it searched the web. It converts to JSON. Then it iterates over all the URLs. And then using my awesome application, it starts extracting web content. So it reads the URL and extract the blog post. This is super important. So you can pass the blog post to OpenAI, to the AI, analyze and extract ideas from. You can see now OpenAI is working. If you zoom in, you see five, six. Reading the articles, seven. How many articles? Eight. We have 10 URLs. And now it's filtering out the ones that has content. So we got eight articles. We combined all this with tools. Then we passed everything to the final OpenAI module to generate the final article. And if you click here, you will see the link to your Google Doc. You can open it to see the final output. And here we are. So this is how our first example works, our main example on generating blog posts using AI and my web extract application and this awesome automation workflow. Now, before I move on and give you the advanced automation workflow and show you how it works, please give me one minute or maybe 30 seconds to explain a few things here. I think it will help you if you want to change things in the automation workflow, if you want to build a customized version or so on. This module is calling Serper API, searching Google for results using HTTP request. Then using this JSON module, we are reading the JSON. We are parsing the JSON. You can see here, simply reading the data from this API. We got the JSON, then we use something called iterator. It simply loops, loops over the organic results coming from JSON. If you go here, you will see in the JSON we have organic results, which are Google results. So we looped through these results. And then for each result, we are extracting the blog content, content, the web page content using my free application. This is why this is a game changer. Without it, you need to scrape. I don't know how you read the content. So you are using this free application that I developed for you to read the content, then pass it to ChatGPT or OpenAI API. So we provide the article one by one. And using this prompt, we are extracting the main ideas and information to be used in the final article. And then we use something called text aggregator. So you can see those four modules connected together. And if you open this tool, you will see that the source module is the iterator. Please focus on this. It's very important. When you want to use a, a text aggregator, select the iterator model. So now it will combine everything came from the iterator, the content, and combine in one output, the text content. And then we can pass this output, this one output, 
as an input to our new OpenAI module. You can see here we have the text, the final notes that will be used to generate a comprehensive 1,500 blog post using this prompt also, and, and then publish on Google Docs. We can even add here, for example, a module to publish a draft on WordPress. You can see connect WordPress or anything you want. You can update this workflow. So what I want to focus on here is the iterator and the text aggregator. So we're combining multiple outputs from different articles into one piece of text to pass as an input for the final AI module to generate the article. So this is our main workflow. Let's now move on to the advanced workflow and see what's going on here. Now the main difference in this advanced workflow is instead of searching Google, getting the top 10 articles and creating content directly from these articles, what I'm doing here in this part, I'm again searching Google, getting the top 10 articles what I'm doing here is extracting topics from these articles and not using them to generate the content. Extracting topics and ideas. Then for each topic, so we'll have like maybe 50 topics, 50 ideas. We will search Google for each topic and get 10 results. So it's like doing a full research, searching tons of articles, maybe hundreds of articles. Then based on that, we will generate the final output. You will see here, if we run this automation, for example, let's say AI agents, click OK. It will take somehow a little more time because we have detailed research. It's like an AI agent with no code, build on make. It's really awesome. So in the first place here, we are extracting the first 10 results. You can see here reading the content and then extracting the topics and searching Google for each topic. And for each topic, we get the results and using OpenAI, again, we read the articles and read the final output. Let's wait a little bit to see the output. We are here and now we are writing the final research paper. Let's see what we will get. Saving. Let's see open the result and you will see this final research remember that what decides the final output is your prompt here if you open this one you will see a very basic prompt now generate a full research paper you can here generate maybe twitter post facebook posts you can generate a youtube script anything you want based on the research so this automation workflow is to do an intensive research about a certain topic and finally give it it to open AI and with the right prompt, you can generate anything you want. This is why I told you with this automation workflow at the beginning of the video, you can generate anything you want. It's all about the final prompt you enter here. And if you want to learn more about crafting and engineering powerful prompts, you can check my full free course here on my channel. I hope you learned something new today. If yes, smash the like button and see you in the upcoming video.